I'm here with Kevin and Chris to talk Halo 5 Guardians. I am psyched. Yeah, thanks for having yeah, us on. Yeah, no, it's a pl yeah, pleasure having you guys. So, you know, guys, what do you guys have for us today? Like, what, what do you want to tell us about Halo 5? I mean, we've seen, like, you know, the the trailer and it just looks phenomenal. I mean, just like this, yeah, this well, conflict that's just ready to happen. <laughs> Yeah, this is our biggest Halo game ever, and uh, we've shown our epic campaign and our all-new multiplayer mode, Warzone. Uh, so we're going to go in here with the campaign demo that we showed at the keynote, and there's uh, Master Chief. Yeah. Yeah. 0631 this morning. Yeah. Master Chief was declared um, some of the new cutscenes from the new engine. This is all coming out in engine. This is all in-game. Yeah, direct capture from the game. Wow. Yeah. It just looks amazing. I mean, huge credit to our art team. They've just been doing an incredible job iterating on this and getting everything just right. Oh, hey. Look at that. Fan, What's up, Nathan? <laughs> fan favorite uh, Edward Buck has been recently joined the Spartan program after ODST. Yeah. Oh, because man. Uh, Spartan Jameson Locke in yeah. the campaign. That's awesome. We got a good shot of a uh, Cyrus team there, which is our new um, co op driven uh, experience. And the Guardian Spartan Locke. Definitely hear more about that. Yeah, yeah so we're, we're dropping into a mission that's called the Battle of Sunion. And as Kevin mentioned, you're playing as Fire Team Osiris, and we're looking from the perspective perspective of Spartan Jameson Locke. Um, defensive position. Uh, this game is built from the ground up for four player co-op. Uh, runs on dedicated servers, 60 frames per second, and uh, we have introduced this new uh, Spartan squad to play with you. There's Buck, who we just talked about. We also have um, Spartan Olympia Vale and uh, Spartan Let's Holly see. Tanaka, who are a part of Fireteam Osiris. Oh, wow. Uh, you're seeing our new tracking system here, which helps you explore and uh, explore the campaign missions and find objects. You're not leaving anything for fans to complain about, it sounds like. It's like you're hitting all the points. Yeah. I'm like, like, how about, nope, you got that covered, covered, covered. Uh, and that would be Chief's assault rifle. Oh, so that's just like a... Yeah, so the uh, the setup for this mission is um, Chief's team uh, in, in the second mission of our game go and investigate this Oni abandoned research facility. And at the end of that mission, they receive a, a transmission of mysterious origin, and they go AWOL. And... Spartan Locke is uh, renowned uh, for his ability to capture high-value targets, so the UNSC asks Spartan Locke to go and hunt down Master Chief and figure out uh, what he's up to. He's the man to go to for a kind of job like that. Got it. Yep. So this is the team investigating, kind of uh, trying to, to find where uh, Master Chief is. Oh! Sorry. <laughs> I did not see that coming. <laughs> And you're going to get to see some of our new Spartan abilities here. You see thrusters being used as they jump over this. And our new dynamic uh, environments. Uh, really uh, happy to move to the new Xbox One. Really utilize that that power and, and get a lot of more processing out of the uh, dedicated server that we use. So we've really dialed it up for Halo 5 Guardians. It looks absolutely sexy. Even just like you know, the thrusting and how they traverse the area. Just all the animations look super smooth. Yeah, completely new HUD as well. I mean, it's been an absolute game changer for us moving to the Xbox One. Yeah. Uh, it's been fantastic. We started right from the ground up on Halo 5. Inside a crumbling building. Uh oh. Better than the bottom of the ocean. There they go. I'm guessing from this point on, the rest of the mission is like easy, right? Nothing's gonna happen. <laughs> no enemies, no action. It's, it's smooth sailing from here. <laughs> That's awesome. So, like it's a four, like a indication there are four runners. Uh, coming up, you're going to get the chance to see our new vehicle that we debuted this week. Uh, it's actually playable on the show floor in our new Warzone experience, but oh. it's the Foreigner Phaeton. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, I love the name, the Phaeton. Yeah. That's also the uh, squad command order system. Uh, you're going to see them take the buck, take them down. So if you're not playing with friends, we've really revamped the AI uh, to really help deliver a good co-op experience even when you're by yourself. Excellent. So there won't be, there'll be less of the like, you stupid AI like moments. Okay, that, yeah. that, that's good to hear. Yeah, the team is working very well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh. so that's the new Promethean soldier. He's one of our new uh, enemies to fight. He's kind of this infantry class that, that fills kind of the same combat role as a Spartan, but for the Forerunners. Uh, he can drive vehicles, use human weapons. Um, yeah. It's kind of a new, uh, cool uh, enemy. And you'll be able to fight against them in Warzone as well. The oh, no, they look pretty sick. I just love the glow and just the way they kind of like pop like that. Yeah. It's yeah. like just embers everywhere. It's our new weapon highlighting system too, which is also used in Arena. It's really awesome for it to help you like pick out weapons on the battlefield. That's the uh, Covenant Plasma Caster. It's a new weapon that we debuted in the keynote. It's a, a Covenant uh, grenade launcher oh. where uh, you saw it bounce when it was in hip fire, and right. then when you um, 
the use our new Smart Link gaming mode, then it will actually stick to targets uh, and then detonate after a certain period of time. Very nice. And you saw Vale there do a ground pound. Yeah. Yeah. One of the new, other new Spartan abilities. Soldier captains on deck. Take them down. Oh, that must be so satisfying. Here it goes. I, I want to pull the trigger. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and that's been really revamped since our multiplayer made it, too, so it's feeling better and better every day. You guys must have gotten like a lot of like valuable like you know like feedback from the beta, right? Oh, tons. Yeah. As we look at our uh, all-new boss, the Warden. Oh. Yeah, the beta... Uh, this is the Warden Eternal. Yeah. And he's one of the new enemies uh, in the game, too. We're not talking a lot about him today, but... <laughs> I guess I won't ask any questions about the warden then. <laughs> but he does look very like vicious. Yeah. I can't I can't deny the glowing inside. Definitely a terrifying threat. Oh, what is that beast? <laughs> I guess can't talk about that either. Alright. Yeah. We're not we're not getting into the details of all the, the different campaign missions. We're really focusing yeah, on uh, the stuff in the Battle of Tonight. This is just a little tease of what fans can uh, expect when the, the game is released. It's cool. Just consider all my questions rhetorical questions. <laughs> it's it's alright. I'll leave it to my imagination. But this looks just looks incredibly oh my god. You guys just know right when they cut it off when I just want to see the yeah. last <laughs> second. Yeah. Man, but Guardians looks absolutely yeah. fantastic. But but yeah, uh, let's see what we have next. I think you guys had mentioned Warzone. I don't know if that's the clip that's coming next, but we'll find out in yeah. a moment when it pops on the screen. Let's see what we got. Yeah, so uh, to set it up, Warzone is our all-new uh, multiplayer mode. It's uh, 12 on 12. And for the very first time, we've got absolutely everything in the Halo sandbox. We've got all the vehicles, weapons, and AI also on the battlefield. AI is in this too? Absolutely, yep. yeah. Wow, what kind of fun things do you expect people to do with that? That's going to be kind of nuts. Oh, it's incredible. I mean, you've got everything from Marines that help you guard your base. Um, you've got AI bosses that are these huge, powerful, uh, beefed-up versions of campaign enemies that we've uh, really tried to put a lot of personality into. And they're going to help your team take down the match. So uh, the setup is you have a 1,000 points to win on, on each side, and you're right. going to score points by capturing and holding bases, going after these AI enemies, and killing players. Yeah. Oh, absolutely beautiful. I Just the, the possibilities now, I mean, I just, yeah. like, just even what people have been already been creating in previous Halo versions, I mean, this is going to be absolutely insane. Right now, my, my mind is just kind of like, yeah. it's like going oh, yeah. wild. See him taking down a Knight Marshal here, so this is one of the bosses you'll be able to run into on the show floor today. One of our design principles was we wanted to make sure everything was possible in this mode. That's why we brought it all into a single oh. cohesive multiplayer experience. There's the Mantis. Oh, yes. And you saw it came out of uh, sort of that, that elevator that's part of the requisition system that we have. So instead of, you know, fighting over vehicles with your enemy, with your teammates like you may have in Big Team Battle, now you can use our requisition system to sort of call in weapons and vehicles that you want to bring into the battlefield. It's no more yelling like, come back with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. great. Exactly. Yeah, the, the gameplay changing elements like vehicles and weapons, those are specifically for Warzone, but right. uh, the requisition system also can be used in Arena for cosmetic, like armor customization, oh, weapon yeah. skins, uh, armor skins. So, you know, it's a system that's great across all of our multiplayer modes for oh. fans to kind of collect and earn uh, requisition. Oh, that's absolutely sick. Yeah. So, yeah, what else do we see going on over here? Oh, yeah, so that's combat inside of a base. Um, and. You know, it looks like almost a full multiplayer map right here, which sort of just gives you the scale of a Warzone map. Um, this is one of five bases on the map, and uh, we're dealing with maps now that are four times larger than anyone we've had previously had in Halo. Wow, and one more time, how many players can we have on a map like this? 24 players, dozens of AI, oh, yeah. and dozens of vehicles. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wow, so like yeah. literally every every person can have their own like Mantis coming down. Yeah, you know, you really battle. get to play your way. Um, the requisition system, you can see at the bottom, uh, here's a player making a selection on to, of a saw. You really get to choose when you spawn or whenever you go to a station in a base what you want to bring into the battlefield. Oh wow, what other like, you know, considerations have you made when like designing like Warzone and how you're gonna like, you know, implement it? Balance has been probably our number one big issue. I mean, we're still multiplayer, we still have to make this a fair competitive experience. We want it to be open for all sorts of Halo fans, like campaign players, uh, big team battle players, um, arena players, everyone's gonna have a place to find, but balance has been our number one uh, thing we've been focusing on. Yeah. You know, you can't just bring an unlimited amount of Banshees into the battlefield. Right. You're gonna have to help your team by um, leveling up your, your character 
they're increasing your rec level every single game, um, capturing bases, getting all the medals, helping with your team by defending bases, uh, helping your teammates with assists. It all helps contribute towards you uh, leveling up. Oh wow, that sounds incredibly satisfying. Just like you know, building up your value on the team and like just like you know, pulling your weight. Yeah, that sounds great. Even though I'm like not like the best sniper. Okay, I'm terrible. I can still like <laughs> contribute in like other ways and just really help the team. That that sounds Grab awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Mantis, yeah. Yeah. Just destroy on the battlefield. Oh wow. That, yeah. That is awesome. Oh man. <laughs> so I mean, is there any like do you guys have any particular like favorite aspect that you're looking forward to in like Halo Five Guardians? That like it's you know, whether it's regards to like the campaign or Warzone? Yeah, I mean I think uh it's hard to pick a favorite that's like asking someone who what's Oh your sure, I'm there's so much like, great stuff yeah, you have added like, to it. The epic campaign featuring all the new Spartans, um and then of course Re Master Chief returns for that. That's a big one. Uh you know, the Halo is so, so great for telling these rich stories in the Absolutely. Halo universe, so that's really exciting. Of course, Kevin, the multiplayer modes. Yeah. That, mul Kevin's our multiplayer design director, so um, Warzone, uh, 24 players, massive conflict. It's very chaotic, and then Arena. Like Yeah, I mean, it really is the largest investment in multiplayer we've ever made, and that just is so exciting for our team. We really got to build two multiplayer games. We got to build Warzone, which is 12 on 12, and then our Arena experience, which we're fine-tuning for esports and with yeah. And competitive players. Can you go into a little bit more about how Arena might work and like what you guys are like, you know, looking to fine tune and focus on? Absolutely. We we had our uh, our multiplayer beta back in December and January, and right. we got to show it to our fans for the first time. It's the earliest we've ever had a beta, and we showed off uh, Slayer Breakout, which is a new mode, and Strongholds, another new mode. And these are modes that we've been working closely with our pro team on site to really develop and tune, and then also through our uh, community feedback as well to really refine this and get it to be the absolute Cadillac of competitive multiplayer experiences. Wow, I can feel the love is like definitely <laughs> being put in here. Yeah, and and. We have a date for Halo 5 Guardians, don't we? Yep, October 27th this year. October 27th. Yep. Oh, man. It can't come soon enough. <laughs> so, Kevin, Chris, thank you so much for like showing more of Halo 5. And if you're at e if you were at E3, people can check out a little bit more, right? Oh, absolutely. absolutely we have yeah. Warzone playable on the floor. And we have a HoloLens uh, experience that players can experience where you get this immersive uh, Infinity mission briefing from one of our Spartans. I'm doing you get it. To go in and oh my god! I didn't, yeah, I didn't know you guys had that. Yeah. All right, that yeah. might be where I'm going next. Yeah, and yeah. also, I mean, we also want to just mention our post-launch content plans. Oh, we well, have absolutely. 15 maps coming po post-launch, oh. all for free. All free? Yes. Yep, for no, all dude, I'm not, not going to be paying yeah. like 15 bucks for, for DLC or anything. You know, this is, this we want like, multiplayer. Everyone to go to the same place, have the same experience, and uh, that was a huge focus for us. So right about bugging my friends to go like. Yeah. That's that's amazing. That is amazing. Dudes, thank you so much. Absolutely hype for Halo 5 Guardians. And I can't wait to stop by and try that, Halo, uh, that HoloLens experience. It sounds incredible.